Thanks everyone guys, but we've moved flat. This is a new flat. This is a computer room. Because me and my mum thought it would be nice if we, if we had a new start. Blinds. Venetian. I just want to say thanks to Zipster. Zipster08. Because he put a video out. Just kind of saying uh, why I wasn't here and stuff like that. Say thanks Zipster08 or a Mizan. I know you haven't got any teeth. But it doesn't make you any less of a person though. <laughs> Somebody at work called me a fat idiot the other day, guys. And it made me think about what I eat. So, can I eat a burger? Can I eat soup? Can I eat toast? So I decided I'm gonna work out. And uh, I'm gonna do um, fitness aerobe, aero aerobics. Uh, where basically what you do is you dance to music. So, and I thought I would intercut it. Into the video for you guys. Because what I'm thinking is, I'm guessing quite a lot of you are fat as well, like me. So we all need to do a aerobic. And you can a aerobic to my video. We can all aerobic together. It's like YouTube aerobic. I found a new feature on my phone. It can record, like, I can press a button. And I can speak into it, and then I can play it back. Well, watch this, guys. This is Carl Daly recording onto my thing. <laughs> See, that was me on my. I recorded it. And it comes out of my phone when I press when I press play on the thing, and I'm, and you can hear it. I suppose I better tell you guys. My mum was got herself into a bit of trouble the other day, but I, she was on the telly, on the news, and it was amazing to see my mum on the telly, guys. I knew it was bad news, but I thought I'd record it anyway on my new, on my new, this is what it was. It was in the city centre where the woman known only as Mrs. Daly mm -hmm. was found demanding some spoons whilst jumping up and down in a water fountain. The police were called and the media... Yeah, she, she, she jumped up and down in a water fountain, shouting for some spoons. <clears throat> but she was using swear words as well. And she was also dressed as the front of a pantomime horse. So anyway, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to try DIY... Rehabilitation. Because you know how she escaped from the last one. She didn't like it very much. So we're gonna we're gonna try and do it in here again. Um my dad's alright with it. He sent he sent oh he sent this as a an example of how he is supporting us. It's a big old teddy bear. I've called it Neil. I don't know why I've called it Neil. <coughs> So anyway, my mum's in, in the room, I've locked her in again, but she's going to cooperate this time, guys. And I've given her some food, I've given her some drink, I gave, I'll tell you what I gave her. I gave her two litres of lemonade, a tin of spaghetti, and a bag of flaming hot monster munch crisps. So she's, but she's been texting me, she's been saying, oh, I need some water, I need some of this, I need... But you know how these guys work, you know how, if you're on the spoons and that, do you know what they do? They say one thing, and they mean the other. And they try and trick you. My dad also bought me some shorts. He bought me some shorts for to go if we, because if everything is all right, we're going to go to Disneyland. Because I went it on the on the word search thing. See, so he's bought me some nice shorts. But my mum was saying that sometimes when he buys gifts, he's not very good at it. And I'll be honest, guys, 
I'm wearing the shorts now to test them out. And I didn't think, I didn't like them very much. They look a little bit like pants, underpants. You know what, there, guys? I cannot wait if we go to the Disneyland because I'll be looking at pictures. It's fine. Then she's been texting me all day, guys, because she's I've locked her in there since eight o'clock this morning. So she's been in there for ages. Carl, can, can I go downstairs and get some water, please? I wasn't born yesterday or the day before. I was born in 1981. Do you know what guys? I've written a poem for you guys, the YouTube stars. Shall I read it out? I'm gonna read it out. I am so pleased to be part of this great group we call the YouTubes. I found it and now New friends have found me. You guys, with your little quirks and your little comments, are the best thing that ever happened to me. And I just wanted to say, from the bottom of my heart, thanks YouTube Earth. Thanks. I'm very thirsty. Can I go to the bathroom, please? Man, I'm not stupid. I know you can. And before you say anything, guys, she can go to the toilet in there because I've issued her with a potty. Anyway, guys, I just want to say thanks again for all of your support and your messages and your comments. I did give you a few things. You've been absolutely fantastic. I really, really do, guys. I've never, ever had so much friends and so many comments and so many video responses and so many messages. It's been fantastic, it really has. And you know what guys? My most favourite passages are the ones that just say hi. Carl please, I can't see anymore. I'm gonna tell you guys, this is just not on. My man is taking the mickey out of me. She knows what I'm like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in and open the door because she's just gonna cut out, get some spoons, and it's all gonna start again. Well guys, I just want to say thanks very much and see you later! And Neil's gonna say goodbye as well, because Neil's fantastic! See you later, Neil! The... Oh guys! That's the lemonade. I will do the most cinnamon strap on the spaghetti. I thought I put it in the room. I better go and give it to her, guys. Sorry about that. I won't be long. Man! Man! Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I she was in there all the time without any food, any water. She was in the right state. At the end of the day, we're doing this for her to help her. And that's all we want to see. Why are you texting me now, man? I haven't got a tin opener for the spaghetti. See you later, Lucky Boy! <laughs> See you later, you